डाउट्स में अटकते सब्जेक्ट्स में लटकते कब तक हम रहेंगे सर पटकते अब वेदांत तू देगा प्रॉब्लम से छुटकारा आई के समझ हाय मायगा तो मजा आएगा मजा आएगा तो समझ आएगा बढ़िया टीचर्स प्रॉब्लम्स चुटकी में सुलझाएंगे डाउट सारी जिंदगी से आज आई गॉट योर डाउट दिस इज योर आंसर समझ आएगा तो मजा Vedantu learn live online to attend a free live class download the app now Hello everyone hello hello welcome this is Vedantu meet channel and as soon as you're about to cross that video hang on and listen to me This is not about neat this is about regular classes it's about gaining a concept and then going to give the exam neat so you are confused where are we we have come to a vedantu neat channel and all the things are about neat where should we go for our regular classes this is the right place for you vedantu is presenting cbsc 11th and 12th class courses to you it will be interesting for us and for you to understand the concept in a very daily basis we'll be having classes on a daily basis where we'll be discussing all the concepts great isn't it so what are you waiting for hit the like button do comment did you like it till here or not and let's see what we have in our store the first chapter of today is and of course the class that i'll tell you this is a class 11th and we usually neglect level 11th class it's like mm, it only comes to a picture when they have to perform the farewell or the teachers day rest 11th class is kept on neglecting but here at vedantu we are not doing that so this is the first session of the living word are you excited are you all excited for this beautiful session in which we'll be discussing about chapter wise chapter important concepts and of course you need questions which comes usually from these topic are you excited do tell me are you excited like him yes finally finally we have something that we can actually watch and actually gain knowledge from so what are you waiting for let's see what are the things that we'll be doing in our 11th class here the topics that we will be covering i'll be going very quickly i'll not take much time over here let's discuss the topic that we'll be studying throughout the five day series and of course the other chapters also so what are the living organism diversity in the living world taxonomical categories taxonomical age and important neat questions yes we are super super excited to begin a class but before that you'll be imagining who is this teacher and let me introduce myself my name is ankita sharma i'm a biology teacher here at vedantu i have experience of 8 years in teaching and i have been teaching icsc and cbsc boards from 9th to 12th class isn't it a lot to take hang on we are just moving ahead with our class so let's see now very philosophical questions that usually comes to our mind what is life then you will be like life is bio life is philosophy life is happiness life is appearance life is studying life is nature etc etc but the real term the real term in biology is a different definition and the definition is there on the screen and you just have you don't have to memorize it and remember it and write in your paper it just the brief description of what is life now what is life it's a unique and a complex organization of molecules big big terms you don't have to worry about it we'll be discussing them in detail what is it it's a complex organization of the molecules we have cells we have atoms we have molecules which gives us different types okay expressing through the chemical reaction of course there's a chemical reaction occurs in a body if you take a process of digestion respiration transportation etc etc which leads to the growth we are growing right development of course responsiveness adaptation and reproduction so these all things gives us the life 
when we are there we are unique we are unique in our own self we are a made up of complex of molecules that actually act in a chemical way and it gives us the growth the development the reproduction the adaptation and the responsiveness in the surrounding that is nothing but we call as life so apart from the psychological and high fi definition this is a definition that is given to us in of life now if that was life and if we are the living organism what is a definition of the living organism and what are these which can easily move which can actually grow which actually reproduce which have a movement etc etc but that's a very easy definition don't we all know about this yes we all know about this but there is a technical term which we usually use and let's just see what is that and living organism is self replicating evolving and self regulating interactive system capable of responding to the external stimuli it's a very complicated thing but it's very easy <coughs> what are we we self replicate there is a replication going on in our body the dna is keep on synthesizing we have mitosis in our body evolving of course we are all evolving self regulatory we perform various metabolic activities in our body without any of the reminder from the external source no we can do it by ourselves interactive system capable of course there's interactive in between the systems all the organ systems interact with themselves with the help of enzymes and hormones and of course nerve transport uh, transportation and impulse etc etc i'll not get into the typical term now we'll just keep this class very light capable of responding to the external stimuli and all these together will responsively react and will respond to the external stimuli can be light you just close your eyes like this can a hot object you just move your hands back right so this is nothing but the living organism when all these things come together that gives us the living organism now in this only we have discussed the different properties or the characteristic features of a living organism let's see what are those here we have can you see we'll be discussing them separately but to just to have a very clear picture we have growth we have reproduction we have metabolism cellular organization and the consciousness we are all of these and these all things makes us and the other living organism around us the living organism let's see discuss the first point is the growth we are discussing about the growth now what is growth you will be like mom growing growing yes it is an increase in the number of mass increase in number and the mass of the cells by cell division can you see here cell is getting divided one cell got divided into two it's is more forming it again it's getting multiplied the cell is are increasing in number and we have this so what is happening here the cells are getting more in number and increasing in its mass that is the first characteristic features of growth what is next now we know that plants and animals have their growth right we see plants growing from a small seed and then small sapling into a big tree or a very big big plant that is there okay it's a continuous process they have the roots they have the tips so it's it's a continuous process in animals however after a certain age there is no growth occurs like maybe the height just stops or maybe the mass of the cell will increase and slowly slowly the person will become expanded and it could be lots of reason but that is the growth we are talking here about clear up to here to students let's see now of course you'll be like ma'am himalayas also grow every year they say that himalaya is growing from like approximately 1 cm to any minute minute small in a very small every year if that's possible himalayas are a living organism is it no 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 of course we all know that 
growing in the size is not the important characteristic features of a living organism it has to be in different way also so basically this is not the living organism clear up to here we are done with the growth now we have very important reproduction now reproduction when we talk about you are familiar that it is the progeny which has been produced it could be similar to the parent and it could be different if it's similar we call this as asexual reproduction and if it's different we call it as the as a uh, sexual reproduction so here we have given us the points <clears throat> now we have unicellular organism okay they are just getting divided so what is an important point that is mentioned here that in the unicellular organism growth and reproduction occurs same they are dividing also to grow in size and they reproduce also to increase the population in the living surrounding so this particular thing reproduction is over here now in the reproduction only we have certain organism which are incapable of producing the progeny examples are mule and we have honey bee so these two organism are incapable of producing their own progeny but the question arises in your brain but then why are they in the living organism reproduction is the important characteristic features of a living organism and these two are incapable of reproducing so are they not the living organism no it's not like that so the important point over here is that though reproduction is very important life process it is not very essential to mark or to characterize a living organism so these all factors are very important we will be giving equal importance to these all factor but reproduction in some case and some exceptions we can avoid so clear we have studied about the growth and we have studied about the reproduction are we clear up to here children and your head should be nodding yes ma'am we are clear so before your exam you can just go through these videos and you'll be like ha huh, finally relieved the third is the metabolism now when i say metabolism what occurs it's a life process that occurs in a body definition is giving the biochemical reaction that are happening in the body are called as the metabolism now in that also we have two different types you must have studied i just have a quick revision we have catabolic pathways or the metabolism and the anabolic metabolism what is happening here can you see the food particle is coming the big big food particles are coming inside the cell and then they are being broken down inko tod diya gaya hai chote chote pieces mein that is nothing but the catabolic metabolism they have been broken down and when these small pieces which have been broken down by the various chemical reactions in the cell are used to produce some molecules in the cell that process is called as anabolic metabolism here children can you see just see this particular diagram for you it will be easier to understand the difference between the catabolic and the anabolic the mechanisms and everything is will be clear to you okay <clears throat> let's see what we have now of course of course of course now you can always say that ma'am lots of uh, chemical reactions actually we do in the you know labs etc etc that can be a part of the metabolism and we have lots of you know labs where the various chemical reaction has been produced insulin many hormones many enzymes are been produced outside the body of a living organism and they are used in giving inside the body and doing the various certain functions so metabolism is still up to here and it's a very very crucial and very important features of all the living organism the last one what is it's not the last actually the last second last is the cellular organization cellular cellular we have studied in the ninth class that cells makes up tissue tissue makes up organ organ makes up organ system and organ systems make a complete organism so we have it plant cells have plant plants have plant cells and animals have their animal cells now they reproduce they perform all the functions in the body and that's why 
we and other plants and other organisms are able to survive and they are able to do all the functions that they are assigned to. Why? Because the cells inside them are performing their duty with a great job and they are doing it so that we are keep on working and keep on moving ahead in life. The consciousness. Now, that is a really, very beautiful thing to talk about. We have seen that we respond to the certain environmental condition. As I was saying, that light, I'll be, you know, closing my eyes. If there's, uh, if I'm starting touching something very hot, I'll be just moving my hand. Or if I place uh, something uh, on my foot, I'll be shouting. That's the responsiveness we give. That's a mind who tells us like react. You are not a stone. You need to react. And when that happens, that gives us the consciousness. And that's, that is a very, again, crucial and important features of the living organism. Are you clear up to where? Like we, of course, these things are there. Now we have two images here. Do look and just imagine and just look at the beauty. One is the touch me not plant. And the other one is the Venus by trap. Can you see? They're just trapping the insect. Why they do that? Do tell me in the comments. So I'll give you a thumbs up and I'll be talking about you in the next video. So do tell why this particular Venus by trap actually takes up the insects and other small microorganisms. So this is up to here. We have discussed about the growth, reproduction, metabolism, cellular organism and the consciousness so we are we have actually covered the properties of the living organism the important thing of course when we discuss that is is the human is the only organism having the self consciousness i can give you a lot of lecture into it but you like ma'am please just spare us so we are the living organism who actually can think think in terms of experimental basis of future emotionally scientifically we can think we can actually memorize things we can actually you know organize things we are capable of living together as a society as a system as a nation so that is very important feature of our the humans it is not there in all the organism Maybe it can be uh, found in elephants sometime. They are emotionally attached to the, you know, trip in which they are. Maybe in the lions and the tigers, they live in a pack. Wolves, of course, they, they also live in a pack. But the consciousness that we have as humans is not comparable to any of the other form. We have sympathy, we have empathy, we have happiness, we have sadness. And that's how we balance all of these things and then we learn. And when we talk about learning, nothing is compared to what we do and what the other organism do. Of course, they learn how to hunt, they learn how to make nests. But the learning that we have is great. It's like the universe is inside our head and telling us that we can do anything. Talking about the universe, I thought that I'll finish off this lesson with kind of saying bye to you, saying that the word and the universe is still not over. He might come back or he may not. It's a series, it's a session of Avengers Endgame. A lot of spoilers are coming. But just on that particular note, to take your interest and to make a class more interesting, I've added him. And he's saying bye. Till the next time. See you in the next class. Do tell us what you like about the session and any doubts if you have, you can post in the comment section. Do like the video. Subscribe to our channel and keep learning and keep watching Vedantu. There will be a lot and lot of learning coming on your way. Good day. I'll see you in the next class. Bye children.